Do you think right now the stock is inflated because there's rumors about Model Y? Is that, because I've been hearing a lot about that. Is there, is that, what are your thoughts on that? Because that sounds pretty exciting and I can see why that would bump the stock price. Yeah, so there have been some rumors of the Model Y being delivered next month. Um, apparently one person that posted on Reddit got a phone call and uh, said the performance model will be available next month for delivery. And then I'll wheel drive after that. Uh, I, I, yeah, that probably affected the stock price. And I think it's completely, complete fake news. <laughs> I think the chance of Model Y actually getting delivered before, I think May is a good target for seeing actual deliveries besides like 10 that were handmade to employees. Uh, which it, all the ones you see now are all handmade. They're not coming off of a line. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that the Model Y is going to surprise in a lot of ways with other technology that's different than Model 3. I know in the exterior and the interior, like it looks the same, but I think the Model Y is going to be a dramatically improved uh, tech that actually powers it. So we'll see what happens there. But Wait, hmm. like, do you have any spec? It sounds like you're... you're knowing something you're holding off do you have any speculation on that i know there's no. a wire situation the the i don't right. know what you call it but they're cutting down on the, the amount wiring of wiring. Flex, yeah. the flex circuit should cut down on the wiring makes, makes it easier to produce and it and it's like a an order of magnitude it's like a hundred meters versus a kilometer difference um right and then uh you know elon on the third row podcast i think it's called uh mm -hmm. talked about maxwell batteries be having a big impact and that's good news i think we've all speculated about that but it seems like model y would be the right you know time if they could get that going um i just think that we're going to see a lot a lot of stuff here that the model y is going to be sort of a sleeper i think uh and probably blow you know the doors off of a lot of other thing you know like it's gonna it's gonna be if if if, if my you know r the rumor mill here and and in my prediction it's going to be a thing where you're like oh it just was a boring unveiling it basically <laughs> is a copy of the model 3 with a couple you know different functional tweaks B I, but it, you're, you're going to look at the specs and go oh my god what is this it's like something we've never seen so you think so i think it could be i think it's a sleeper i think people are but, like but which specs I think it's. I think you're going to see. Well, if the Maxwell stuff that Elon teased about on that thing come true, you could see a, a lot more range than currently mm -hmm. out there, or cheaper or lighter. You know, there's so many things that could mm -hmm. that could happen. So, so, um, so the rumors are coming three, out there. That'd be but, amazing. What's that? Or all three, and that would be amazing. Yeah. So there's rumors about deliveries. I think that's fake news. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, this was something that did come out. I don't know if you guys saw the pictures of the third row in the Model Y. Mm -mm. I did see this. <laughs> yeah, and you can tell from his tone of voice. Uh, did you order the third row, the seven-seater, Tim? I did, but I changed it because Good. I don't know why I did that in the first place. But <laughs> Okay, so according to Tesla, the, uh, uh, the, the from Tesla, it's saying room for up to seven adults with optional third row. <coughs> Model Y provides maximum versatility, able, able to carry seven passengers and their cargo. Uh, each second row seat folds flat and independently, creating a flexible storage for skis, yada, 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 yada. Here's a photo for you to digest and see what the third <laughs> row of the seat of the Model <laughs> Y looks like. For those of you just listening, if... You, so I have a good friend that is a, a quad amputee. He would fit great back here. <laughs> right. There you go. I was thinking if, that, if you slim down your calves a bit, maybe. <laughs> and then have no f feet or anything. Because yeah. it just is straight. Like, it's totally flat. Like, it looks like it goes, like, three inches forward and three inches down from the end of the seat to the floor and the seat in front uh -huh. of it. You could maybe put a broom handle in there, basically. Now, so are those on rails though? Like, could the middle seats scoot up some? Give I'm a sure. Little extra room? I'm sure. Yeah, it must be. Now, if you're in Kentucky yes. and uh, you're working, and there's a jockey convention, this would be an excellent <laughs> mode of transportation, <laughs> I think. But that's about the size of the person that's going to fit back here. I mean, I I wouldn't even. I don't know. <laughs> it's just such a it's a joke basically like this to me is stupid this is a bad design well what about 
What about two car seats? No, you're a dad. Absolutely not. You, I mean, maybe. Uh, Maybe a booster seat. Yeah, when your kid's older. The little bumpy things. Yeah, so the booster seat just basically elevates them so the the uh, the shoulder strap on the seatbelt comes across to their chest. Mm. Um, you know, other than yeah, but like an actual car seat, no. <laughs> I don't even think I have a buddy that has um, that puts them in the back, the third row of the Model X, and uh, even that. I, I mean, because we thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool. And I look back there, I'm like, no way, man, absolutely not. So. I mean, I'm sure it would fit, but holy cow. That'd be like, you know, punishment. Like, hey, you were bad. I'm going to put you in the third row. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not the third row, <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. And we are going <laughs> on a road trip, you know? <laughs> so. Yeah. We'll see. Tell that well, to your therapist someday. <laughs> I will have to say, so remember, I do actually have a reservation for why. And a trip like this uh, makes me really wish that if the Y could keep up with the range and, you know, if it had a little bit faster range, a little bit faster charge rate or something, you know, uh, than the three to, to count to kind of counter its inefficiency, because it is less efficient than a three since it's bigger surface area, a little heavier. Um, I would love to have a Y as far as the storage yeah. and, and more space for what I do, especially my car is packed to the brim. But I just for this road trip, you know, if I had to add an extra you know, 30 minutes because of increased charge times and all that stuff and inefficiencies and everything. I don't know if it'd be, it wouldn't be ideal, but if, if they make up for it with a new battery technology or some kind of extra tweaks or something, then that does excite me. And that probably would have me replacing my car with a, with a Y. Yeah. I was going to say, I mean, it might actually be lighter than your three. If you think <sighs> about it, if they're able to pull off that dry electro thing that, you know, all the rumors and stuff out there have talked about, it, it would essentially, like, give you the same energy density, but for, I forget what it is, like, 40 or 50% less mm -hmm. weight. So, uh, wow. yeah, I mean, but I don't know if that matters because the range is, would still be the range, right? It, it, that, would Similar, be, yeah. that would be the, the huge win is, is if they're able to say, hey, I know we said top range 300. It's actually 400. That would be like, yeah. woo, you know, that would oh. blow the doors off of things. So I don't know. I think we'll see. But but really, it goes back to that whole conversation earlier about how much range do you need? Because really, if they're able to do that, if the Maxwell Tech, they're able to integrate it. And it, the, the goal, I would have to imagine, isn't necessarily longer range. It would be cheaper, would be the goal. Because imagine if you could make the Model 3 25 grand yeah. brand new. That would be, I mean, God, that would just crush the industry, mm -hmm. right? That would be mm -hmm. a massive. It'll, they it'll they be couldn't a no make them. to buy one of those. It it already is, but that would be a uh, yeah. So I think I don't know. Like I, I guess that would be a really interesting question. You know, if if we ever got to to ask Elon stuff uh, about, <laughs> um, hey, uh, you know, what would what is the strategy with this? It's probably all of the above, right? You probably will have a longer range one, but is the bigger goal to make it cheaper? Or is the bigger goal to make it, you know, better, faster charging? Or, like, what is the main reason to, you know, advance this other than the sake of just, like, constantly innovating? Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. <laughs>